What's up everyone? Welcome to Pens and Brushes. Today I'll be doing a product review video of the famous Heartline Sticks. If you haven't already, please click the subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and don't forget to click the bell button. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. And here are my Artline Sticks. I actually just bought the six pack Artline Sticks because it was a bit pricey, but I bought mine in a national bookstore for 225 pesos. I also like the fact that they actually sell the Artline Sticks individually and they cost 37 pesos each. Um, my Artline Sticks actually just came in with the basic colors, color black, green, blue, red, orange, and yellow. It also came in with a free connector, but we'll talk about the details of those later on the video. So now the design. I really like the Lego-like structure of the markers. It's very unique and it's very innovative. I also find its triangle design very handy. It doesn't slip when you try and use them. Unlike the um, regular markers that we have, the rounded ones, this one is different. This does not slip when you try and um, when you try and use them. So I like that. The marker itself is pointed in shape, but um, it bends when you add a little pressure to it. So it's really, really good when it comes to calligraphy. Because of its Lego design, you can connect them with each other. It's said in the box that you can create amazing art with them, but I tried and unfortunately it was a huge fail. But I'm sure you guys could probably do a better job than I did. <laughs> The set also came in with a free connector that allows you to do fun things with a marker. Um, in this video, I used it to connect two markers and created an item that can probably make a perfect circle. But I actually tried making a perfect circle with it, but it's really not that perfect. But again, I'm sure you guys can do a better job than I did. Now for the swatches. So for our swatches for today, we'll be using my Muji notebook, which of course I bought in Muji. It came in a set and I've been loving this because they do not bleed through. I also like the fact that my markers um, glide smoothly when I use them with this notebook. And of course, again, as I mentioned, it does not bleed through. So what, can, what more can you ask for from a notebook? I really like the colors of the markers. They're very vibrant and I really like the fact that they made the markers a triangle shape because it's easier for you to really lift your pen and turn it around so you can get that upper thin stroke easily and the down thicker stroke easily as well.
for blendability. These markers are water-based markers, so these should blend in pretty easily, but let's go ahead and try. The paper we are using is the Paper Tree Oslo Drawing Board, which I bought from National for $27.50. We will also be using this water brush which I bought from Shopee. I'm not sure about the price but I'm sure that I bought them for a really cheap price. I'll just go ahead and link down the description box below where I bought them from and how much I bought them for. Right now I'm just swatching the markers on the paper and later on I will add water using the water brush to check if we can drag the colors away. If it does, it will prove that these markers are indeed water-based. Okay, I think it's safe to say that these markers are indeed water-based markers because they activated when we added water to these markers. I really like the colors though, even when we added water because they are still vibrant and I really like the effect it gave when we added water to the markers. Okay, so right now I'm just um, swatching both colors red and blue and I will add water using the water brush and try to check if we can actually blend both colors and make a purple color. Okay, it looks like it did the blend, but it really did not give like a vibrant purple color. It's more like a translucent type of purple, but again, it blended, so that's the important thing. Right now, I'm just blending colors red and blue and try to check if they will blend together without water, but it looks like they did not, and instead of like creating a violet or purple color, it created more of like a black colored marker. And apart from that, it also stained the red marker. Overall, these markers did a great job, and it's one of my recommended items for everyone starting off with calligraphy. So that concludes our video. Again, this has been from Pencil and Brushes. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!